Hey everybody, it's uh, Davey and Atoga here uh, with a short episode that's pretty much going to be all Tartarus. Uh, uh, and I'm going to have another episode coming up that's going to be about less than 12 minutes long. That's going to be all socialization stuff and I'm an idiot who didn't decide to put them together and last episode you probably should have split them anyway to stretch this out and make sure that I had something to talk about of reason with each one so here I am being an idiot not necessarily asking for uh, or, uh yeah I'm not asking for well I'm not apologizing so I'm not asking for uh, forgiveness there we go I was gonna say thanks but that's completely the wrong word uh, so anyway we started out this episode I'm um, just going around and seeing that hey everybody kind of you know sometimes changes their locations every once in a while uh, we found Yukari and Junpei upstairs on like the second floor lobby, and then uh, Mitsuru was all the way up the top in that giant room thing. So, yeah, there's that. Thought it was something kind of cool and worth showing off. So, here we are in Tartarus, and we got a game plan going on. Uh, we want to pick up a fairy. A pixie, not a fairy, a pixie. Uh, to replace the one that we spent that we fused earlier, and we also want to pick up an Apsaris, Everyone seek out and destroy which all we're going enemies. to do, and we plan on getting up to the fifth floor There's and taking out whatever here. guy is up there at the top. So, uh, I figured I'd try out some of the whole exploring around option things and letting everybody off do their own, um, and that priority take out shadows, there we go, that's the word I'm thinking of, I'm gonna crush um, this shadow over here. seems to be working pretty well. Uh, it ends up being a very good distraction for me while I'm running around trying to find stuff and not waste time in battles. And hopefully, I'm I'm gonna have to. This is something I'm gonna have to play around with more. But I'm thinking that because it's actually less battles technically, because everybody's just beating them all, all the shadows in the dungeon instead of actually going to battle. That hopefully I can last a bit longer and have people not get tired as quickly, which is nice. Um. However, having split up. Uh, priority defeat shadows kind of means that there's no real way to collect them together unless you actually split them up. Uh, which is kind of a little awkward. So, we got our pixie. We're going to be picking up an Apsaris 2 in this time. And then we also ended up picking up two high-tech sandals. The two items that are identical, but you notice they actually had different stats. One has low wind evasion, the other one has hot or mid electricity evasion. Which is kind of interesting. Now I know that Yukari has natural wind, uh, not invade resistance. There we go. Uh, so I figure, and she mentioned before that she's weak to electricity, or that her persona is weak to electricity and strong against wind, not necessarily her. So I figure, well, okay, that's good. I can cover her weakness with this mid evade. And I'll give myself some wind, because I'll probably be use more useful having it to keep myself alive and to keep Junpei whatever, because nobody cares about him. And then, of course, finding that yellow guy, I, of course, running into another shadow. And the yellow one disappears on me. So here we are finally up on that fifth floor, where these monsters supposedly are. Uh, after wandering around a bit of just having this big open room area thing, leading to a little hallway, we come across this little uh, green thing. Like what was down in the basement, or not in the basement, on the first floor of Tartarus. It turns out, this thing is going to be a warp. So now I can actually go between floors, certain floors. So I can jump from the fifth floor to the first floor, and vice versa, I think, I hope, at this point. Which is awesome. So now that I have that activated, I figure, well, I might as well see what else is on this floor. And I notice that the monster's right there. That I want to try getting a sneak because they're just kind of hanging out there, and it's three of them, anyways. And they look kind of like just generic shadows, not like boss type kind of shadows. Even though this the boss fight, stronger than you're accustomed to. Proceed with caution. I mean, it totally is a boss battle at this point in the game. Venus Eagles, three of them. Roger. I'll attempt to uh, this is gonna be. Enemy. This is really. This this fight actually had me on edge for most of it trying to figure out what to do with this, because, uh... They're very hard to hit, it seems, probably because they're flying. At least for me and Junpei, I noticed. I 
and we don't know what elements they are. At all. We don't- I don't even know their HP, their SP, their levels, or anything. So this is like a blind boss battle. Apparently wind didn't do anything to them. Which I guess kinda makes sense because they're flying, so maybe they are wind elemental or whatever, and they're strong against it anyway. And of course, Junpei apparently is weak to wind. Just as I thought he couldn't get any more useless. He ends up having a weakness to the element that these guys are. And I can't rescan these guys. I, I tried and it just comes up like normal, hey, you already scanned them, and hey, we don't have any information on them. Not, hey, we'll try again and see if we can find something on them. And then fire heals them. So I don't know what's going on with these guys. Except for that. Holy cow. Yukari is a fucking MVP in this match. Because she has Pierce on her bow and arrow, and I'm thinking, shit, I should be able to switch to a bow and arrow instead of my sword, and then that way I can see if I can hit these guys better. But I can't change equipment mid-match, which kind of sucks butt. Um, and then exploring around uh, the tactics thing. And apparently I can control the support person as well. As well as, you know, give specific assignments to my guys, but none of them imply like, hey, change your weapons or what have you. Not that they could anyway, because Kari can only use bow and arrows and Junpei can only use katanas as baseball bats, whatever. But I figured, well, wind doesn't work, fire doesn't work. I was initially gonna try ice, but then I realized, oh yeah, I have that Cadenza thing. I might as well use it, because that would be very good to have, especially considering Junpei is, you know, like at half-life, and I'm taking a bit of damage. Yes! And Yukari just keeps ripping house. Holy crap. I love that girl. She is awesome. I mean, she misses a lot. It's kind of to be expected, considering that she told me that about that anyway. But just... For this battle, wow. I mean, Junpei is basically boning my team, and he takes so much damage, and he keeps falling out. Losing off balance and giving the opponents more attacks. Ah, I just want to get rid of him. Well, we finally have a chance to see if ice will work against these guys, and apparently I'm gonna miss. So I can't find out if they're weak against ice. And I doubt it. Who knows? Maybe, maybe not. Gary just starts ripping house some more. We got one guy down. Thank goodness. Junpei is still being a weak little dinky dink. And because he's almost dead, I think I'd rather spend... I'd rather spend items healing him than reviving him, A. And B, I... I can't attack. I mean, I probably can, but it's not gonna be as good as the bow and arrow knocking guys off their feet, off balance. So I do not want Curry to heal Junpei. I want to do the healing myself. And of course, Junpei, hey, I just revived your HP so that you don't die. Hey, I think I'm gonna use HP to damage these guys, because I'm too stupid to have a move that uses my SP. Even though it's, you know, pretty damn high at 62, and I should be able to do, like, 20 attacks with it. Ugh. God, I hate Junpei. I can't wait so I can swap him out. Looking so forward to that day. I can get, like, Akihiko or Mitsuru in my party or whatnot. Ugh. Thank goodness, when there's two guys down, I can go for an all-out attack. When Yukari, yeah, I, I wish there was a way to like point out Yukari to tag which to the guys and ensure that I can make sure that I can change that before her next turn. Because if she ends up going faster than me, she may end up attacking the same guy twice. Like if I fall down and it takes a turn to get back up, then I can't have her change targets in between. And they're going to get up anyway, so it's not like because you know she gets the extra turns from knocking a guy off her feet. It's not like I can change them mid. Her turn, so... It would've been nice if she had, like, pwing one guy, pwing the next guy, pwing the third guy, beat the crap out of them all. But, eh, just wasn't... Wasn't happening. Oh, well. Well, at least we continue on upstairs, and this will make it easier for the next time we're in Tartarus, because we can start on floor 5, instead of having to go all the way through floor 1 again, and run around, letting everybody beat the crap out of guys by themselves anyway. Which, you know, Shikari was the first one to find the guy and start beating the crap out of him when they were, you know, priority bitch slap the unis. She was definitely MVP of that trip of Tartarus. So here we go on a Sunday. This is the first weekend I've ever... Not even a weekend, it's just one day off. Not two days off, like a normal weekend. So, you know, we'll 
let's see what we can do, and I assume everything's open, which it actually is. Uh, apparently there's several things that I can do. Um, I can visit all of the places around there. I can study all day if I want. Um, I could sleep all day, I think is one of the options that it shows up. Mitsuru apparently likes to stay in and read, so who knows. And for a minute there, I thought that was that... I thought that was Kagatsuchi doing sewing or something like that. And after a moment, I realized, oh, that's Akihiko, just in a tux, which is kind of weird. And B, that was his gloves. Those were boxing gloves that he was... I guess he was lacing them up or something. Well, I figured, well, I just went to Tartar, so I probably don't want to go out. I know I'm going to want, want to go to bed early to sleep early. Even though, actually, I didn't get tired last night like Junpei and Yukari. So there's no real point in me staying in over the night, whatever. And that mirror, that was just a weird option. I figure, well, I'll study, I might as well. And something cool happens. I, because I'm not tired, I, well, I'm not sure, there's a couple things here. I don't know if this is a random thing where it's just like, hey, you solved a random, a difficult problem. Your mind seems to be sharp and alert today. I'm guessing that's from me not being tired. Which means that I get to do extra academics. Either that, or it's just from, hey, I'm just going to continue doing academics for my late night activity too. Who knows, we'll find out later. we got plenty more coming up from the next episode of Traveling Around Socializing, so we'll see you then.